welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in The Sims 4, we are doing an overview of the life and death, create a sim and build and buy. And the create a sim part is like the speed part, I guess. And the build part will be in real time. It's just, I didn't want this video to be too long. Originally, I did do it in real time, but yeah, I just decided, yeah, this video is going to be too long if this part was slow down but i really want to say i love the hairs i love how there are some dyed versions i think that's really cool and yeah um i love the hairs they look so cute um i love i especially love like the updo like that's cute as well um and i love how like the braids and the updo matches the bangs to the longer hair except the updo is kind of shorter but i think it's fine so we have a hat we did get some jewelry, we got some earrings, and the mask is something you get if you buy the pack early. So I wouldn't buy that pack over this. Um, it's just the mask, it's really not that serious, you know, it's not that good of an object, I will say. Um, and yeah, we have some makeup, and yeah, the eyeliner is just falling down. We have some lipstick, not really sure how to use that lipstick. And the shirt that we're viewing now, they do have a few plain swatches, but I will say, not every swatch has a plain version so it has like a skull on it right so like there is a yellow shirt it has a skull on it but there's no plain yellow which i don't know i wish all of them came in plain and with the skull but a lot of these tops are so cute they're so beautiful we have that oversized white shirt which is cute i would probably i could probably see myself using that as like a pajama shirt and that's pretty much it and then the last shirt that we're going to be viewing is so beautiful i love it so much it's gorgeous it's very like i can see myself using that a lot of the time and we should be moving on to the bottoms so we have eight things and they're cute i don't i won't say like the bottoms aren't my favorite because again this is not my style i'm pretty sure i mentioned that before but these pants are pretty cool they don't come in a really good blue swatch i don't think but they look good i could see myself using those a lot as well um and then yeah i don't really care about the skirt either i don't think it's that good and then we have our full body outfits um there's this business outfit it just has one swatch um and then yeah we have this little pajama set it's cute as well we have that swimsuit also looks very good um and yeah i don't know about this one this one i don't know oh and then this dress it has a hood on and as you can tell it puts hair on you so like the hair that i had was the one that was a bun and obviously that one doesn't have bangs so you really couldn't use that dress if you had any other hair which is kind of annoying like i guess you could pretend like oh i have clip-ons clip on bangs you know like i i don't know but yeah it kind of sucks um it really would be good if they could find a way to like have our actual hair showing but we did get a ring we got some coffin nails it, i couldn't show you the ring really good because it's just like you don't so like when you click on the nails it goes straight to your hand but for the rings it doesn't do that but now we're checking out the shoes, the first pair of boots I will use a lot because those are so cute. And the kids have the same hair as well except for the mohawk I think. And they have a full body outfit, they have one shirt, they also have like the crow and the ghost um, costume. And I think they have one outfit that are meant for like the ghost child. Um, that's just what it looks like to me but that is so cute, that would be cute for like Halloween so that's lovely and then the shirt is also very cute i don't mean uh, yeah i don't think there's any pants and then the toddler's got one shirt and they also have some everyday outfits so that is cute as well um those have webs on them i think that is so adorable they have a little dress and then the last outfit that we're trying on is so cute i love it i love how the bottom of the pants like flare out i don't know if that's the right word and infants also got a full body outfit i love the ghost one that is so adorable it's so cute like all of these are so cute and i love like all the details they went into with it um, and then we have our male sims, so they have some new hairs as well. And honestly, they look so good. I love the first one and the second one. Honestly, those are my favorite. And the male sims also got like same, some of the same shirts as the feminine sims. 
so I decided not to really show those off too well and for some reason the males get like this cool beanie but the feminine sims don't which is weird but I don't know why it's tagged like surely it will work I didn't try it out but I assume it would look good as well and yeah they have like some nice suit jackets they have that cropped shirt it's not as cropped as it is on females to them they have a nice sweater Ooh, and then one of the sweaters i thought were so adorable that i had to try it out on the female frame because they don't have that sweater i believe but yeah it looks good on there and then i was just trying out a lot of stuff to see like did it look a little weird did it look fine um, but yeah, they also have the same full body outfits. They have a dress, which is nice. A lot of the times when you try to like mix or like put female clothes on male sims because like sometimes it's just not suited for them. Like it looks kind of weird in the crotch area. And then if you do the same for female sims, if you want to give them like a shirt that is tagged masculine, sometimes their boob area is just pointy, which... It's just so weird so it's nice to see that you know they had it made for a male sim actually so it doesn't look off i feel like they need to do that more i don't think it har i mean i guess it would be a lot of extra stuff to do if they made every single outfit for board for both frames but now i'm going to jump into the world and give you guys a look at the build and buy stuff and here is the new world it is very beautiful i'm just gonna go on this slot so we can check out the build and buy so let's get started i guess you can kind of call me extra because i kind of like placed a lot of things in all of their swatches this is like what the kitchen set is looking like very cute and then over here we also have like the island piece which is also cute so that's how it looks and then over here we just have have their dishwasher in multiple colors and all matching colors actually and then for the island pieces this is how they look in the front and then this is how they look in the back so this is the side where you would put the bar stools on and yeah it's pretty simple but it comes in like some very cute swatches I don't think I don't think I will show you all of it just because like it's so much but hopefully this gives you like an idea of like what this all looks like and then over here we have a look at all the bar stools they are so cute and beautiful i love the colors they went for in this pack and then over here is the stoves and range hood very cute again they have matching colors so that is nice and then over here we have our kitchen sinks and they also have more swatches which makes sense because the counters does have like that blue swatch whereas the oven doesn't have like a blue swatch so i guess that's fine you could probably just use like the gray and the gold but yeah that's so nice nice and then over here we have our fridge which honestly i love it's different from the other ones that we have and again they come in like really nice colors and plain colors as well actually this is supposed to be just the all black swatch but yeah i love the colors i love how you can see this part also i wanted to show off the fact that this fridge is a perfect fit as you can see there's no gaps and that is my favorite thing about this and i'm happy that they learned that that's what we want so it's nice to have another Another fridge that doesn't have a gap so I think this one in the home shelf hustle one is very good and then over here we have our single tile tables they have a nice twisty bottom to it I guess but it comes in all those swatches which is cute and this is our two tile table so it comes in a nice marble color it's pretty nice honestly and honestly the stuff in this pack seems very fancy and expensive and then over here are our dining chairs and all their swatches so they also look pretty nice, very cute. And obviously you could use it as like an office chair if you wanted to. We also have some more chairs over here. So these are very grand. They are 325 simoleons. And then these are obviously office chairs, which I feel like I'm going to use these office chairs a lot. Just because I love the bottom of them. It feels very nice, comfortable, and realistic to me. And then over here is a look at the flowers that we got pretty cute i'm always happy to get like new flowers we also have these beautiful flowers as well and then we have like these flower signs so this is very cute to dress up your funeral and then over here we have our bar and this is a bar of light actually so maybe we'll start with this first so it comes in these colors very cute very nice that's how it looks on the bottom a little bit so these are all the swatches when you look at swatches of lights the room does tend to get dark so yeah 
yeah i think that's nice and then i already showed you these bar stools but these are the colors on the bar pretty cool pretty cute pretty fancy i guess oh i do like this watch that is nice and then of course we have two bar backs because one is never enough oh actually i'm very stupid this is not a bar back this is actually a bar so what i meant to say is we actually have two bars because two is never enough um i apologize for my mistake and it seems like oh this watch is so nice i love that so this will match with this watch but it doesn't have like that rustic black and blue color for whatever reason and they do have a green that's nice those are the bars and then over here we have our pet crows they are indeed obviously objects but yeah these have five colors to it it would be nice if there was like a plain black plain white i don't know why they decided to make it these wood swatches and i just think this is so ugly anyways moving on over here we have our couches these are so beautiful like i love this it's so cute i will say one thing that is kind of disappointing is that there's not like a two-seater couch for this one and there's not like a three-seater couch for this one that's kind of like why i don't know but i do love this couch it's so cute and yeah i love all the colors in it we have some poofs and we also have some coffee tables so these are the tarot cards that you can buy from build mode and this table comes in some pretty colors um obviously the round is off it's not like a perfect circle they tend to struggle with that you can just see like the rough edges on it it's cute though not sure about the gold on this and then we have this beautiful table and honestly i feel like i never get a chance to use tables like this because i don't think they just fit like my living room is never big enough for that and then over here we have our living chairs so we have a rocking chair which is nice some of them have some beautiful designs on them but then we have some plain ones and then over here we have these beautiful chairs that will probably go well with this couch i suppose I'm not really sure about the legs. That's the only part where I'm like, will they match? And then over here we have some beautiful rugs and some gorgeous swatches. When I saw this rug in the trailer, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. This is so cute. It looks very good to me. They have skulls in them. They have crows. They have a nice green swatch. Ooh, this is a nice green swatch. And we also have this rug, which is very nice. It has some beautiful patterns, but it also has some plain colors. Yeah, so we have like the red and we have the black so unfortunately there's not like a plain white but i think that's fine i probably won't use the plain swatches to be honest with you and then we just have like a bigger version of that rug and then over here we have a fireplace so this is only for medium wall height unfortunately but i guess it makes sense but i really love this fireplace it's very nice and then over here we have some lamps so these are very cute and it comes in a nice rusty version as well and then this lamp is also very cute i I think it's very modern i feel i don't know guys i don't know styles and then i also put some things on this fireplace so over here we have this since you've been gone so there's like a little pun in that and if we read the description it says in collaboration with the in loving memory a tribute collection we proudly introduce since you've been gone an incense holder honor the memory of your loved ones with our beautifully crafted holder designed to hold incense with elegance and stability this piece is a perfect addition to any memorant space so be it at home or a grave site so this comes in a few swatches it has a pink swatch a mint swatch a gray swatch a white swatch and a green swatch and then they also gave us this freezer bunnies grim day out thingy so i guess this is nice and we also have this morning veil lantern and also we have we also have a ceiling light as well that matches this lamp so it comes in like all the matching colors and then we also have this one which is very cute very grand i like it a lot Ooh, i like this one i like the white and gold and then we also have a sign that i decided to show off very cute very beautiful so none of these objects are actually like tied to this table i just wanted to show them off so we have these beautiful candles in these nice beautiful colors very beautiful and then we have this cute little shelf i love like the little ghost like that's so cute and then we have this urn i'm not sure if you can like 
actually use it as an urn. Maybe, I'm not sure. And then we have this little plaque. And then I believe this music box is something you get when you purchase the pack early. I could be wrong, but I feel like it was the mask, the music box, and like the picture frame. And then this is like the table swatch. So it comes in all those beautiful colors and the marble is so cute. And I also feel like it's very fancy and I don't really build fancy houses. So, and then this is a TV console. And then all of these things are not attached to it. It's just like on it so I can show you. We have this beautiful picture frame. I love the flowers. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. And this little guy is so adorable. Like it's so cute. The yellow one is adorable. And you can leave a message on it in live mode. So that is pretty cool. Always thinking of you. I will say hovering over it does not like tell me what the message is. So that's kind of like a downside. But we have some sconces. Oh, I love this candle light. This is so beautiful. And then we have these swatches as well. And they're very rustic. I don't know about the mint swatch being rustic, but it's cute. And then we have all those same colors for this light as well. Then we have this cute little light. And I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like a crow, but it comes in all the metal swatches. And then this is the swatches of the console table. So it is very cute, lovely. And then this is a side table, which I love because it has books underneath. I think that is just so adorable and so good. And then over here, we just have a chest and we also have this weird thingy. I don't know, it's very weird, but this is the swatches of the chest. Very cute. I'm assuming you can actually put something in there. Yes, you can. Okay. Sometimes you just have to make sure. And then we have seven different wall decals and trust me, they are different. They are not a different swatch. Yeah, I just wish they would have like put them all in one because the category is really getting filled up and these don't have swatches. Like why couldn't this all be in one swatch? I just don't understand. And I already like talked about a concept of like what they could do to fix it. So like instead of making like another decal category that you can like put right here, I was thinking in the paintings category, you could have like another bar. So like a sub category, I don't know if that makes sense. And then you would have like an option for decals, posters, paintings, all. So that way we don't have to scroll through all of this stuff. Like I just, it's too much. But we also have like a no ghost sign, which is weird. It's actually very mean. Like how could you do that to the ghosts? And I did skip some things over here. So we have this thing that you can put on the floor now. So it's like a little hole in the floor. And I think that is so cool. And then over here we have this item where you can place the coffin on. So here are the swatches of that. And this little thingy is called the Dancing Raving Parrot Tent. So obviously it is decoration. It's environment level two, but I think it's just so beautiful. But yeah, it is decoration, unfortunately, but it's cute decoration. Behind this, I just put this toy that are for kids. It's a little creepy, but it comes in these colors. I will say I will not use this all the time. I will probably only use it if I'm specifically playing with this pack. But going back to the wall, we have this beautiful decal and it comes in some beautiful swatches. So obviously I'm pretty sure you're supposed to layer them. And then we have this beautiful painting. These are so cute. So this is like the realm to get to. Honestly, I'm not sure, but you know, we have a picture of Grimm, all that cute stuff. And then we have these posters, which are nice. Oh, and then these are the tarot cards, but as painting. So that is really cool. I will say, obviously, obviously, I know, I know. It would be hard for them to make all of these paintings come in like a white frame, a black frame, a dark wood frame, a light wood frame. Obviously, that would be very hard for them to do, but if only we could have create a style. That's all. I just, I don't think I use this wood swatch a lot. So like, I don't think I would get to use this painting a lot. And it sucks because it's so cute. It has some very beautiful swatches. And unfortunately, I won't be, ooh, pretty. Is that a, like a plant baby? Can we get a plant sim update, please? I wonder if I can like find a favorite. I'm not really so sure. Moving on, we have these beautiful paintings as well. I'm pretty sure this is just meant for the Grim Career Workplace. I forget what it's called. But then we also have like this little cabinet. So this is cute, very beautiful, adorable. And then we also have this very cute shelf, which I'm in love with. I love it. It's so gorgeous. Comes in nice colors. And this is what you would get if you buy the pack before the deadline, which honestly, I don't know when the deadline is. And yeah, so basically, 
basically it will just generate a picture of your household. It comes in these nice watches. I will say I hate, I understand why it's fancy because it comes in this pack, but I wish there was a plain version. That would be nice. And then if you look over here, these are some beautiful bookshelves. They come in these beautiful swatches as well. Pretty nice. And these come in like a bunch of swatches, which I love. So like you have this version and then you have this version. So you can like pretty much pair them together pretty well. You can't see any clipping in them which is also good so this is like a single tile bookshelf that I put together and it looks so cute but yeah it comes in like all these cute little colors and then over here we just have these cabinets that we can fill up with stuff very adorable and then we have like this single tile table that goes really well with that console table so this is very nice very cute and then over here we have these arches they're not doors and they're also not curtains like they snap I guess but they're not under their curtain category but yeah they look so cute right it has nice swatches and then we have a taller version of course so this doesn't go too good with small wall height obviously because it will clip and I feel like in the trailer I thought this was like an actual arch but no it's just that and they gave us two desks in this pack and honestly I just want to check something real quick so most of the desk chairs show up in the front but for some reason the desk chair that comes in this pack isn't at the front so obviously this is 135 simoleons but this is 150 so it should be up here with the desk chairs but I'm not gonna complain about that that looks so good together but what if I put a okay that's good sometimes with certain desks the keyboard hangs off so I just wanted to make sure that was an issue but yeah they both are on there so that's good but anyways looking at the swatches they come in pretty good swatches Ooh, like this nice wood swatch that's cute they come in a nice blue swatch. I'm loving all the gold. I feel like this game is teaching me to love the color gold which is very unusual because I always use silver. And then we have an indoor memorial display so that's cute. Comes in nice colors. A plain white, plain black. And then we just have our little speech thingy. Oh I just hate this wood color. I'm so sorry. It's so ugly. I don't mean to be mean but. And then over here we have like our bathroom stuff. So we have this beautiful shower. It comes in these beautiful colors that match everything else. We have a matching bathtub which is also very cute and comes in matching colors and I do want to say they didn't give us a toilet but they did give us another sink which is gorgeous. I love how the towel is hanging down there and then we just have like this bathroom cabinet so it has towels. It comes in all of these beautiful swatches. Very pretty and yeah I will say like we have plenty of toilets I suppose. It's just for me personally I feel like none of the golds match this you know we have this from cats and dogs that's too yellow so that wouldn't even work these two things are from base game and again like different golds like what is that that that's my complaint and if we turn around we have this beautiful floral bed well I guess this swatch is floral but it's so beautiful but it's also very expensive it's 3215 simoleons unfortunately and this is all of the swatches and it's so beautiful i love it so much and then this bed is a thousand one hundred and twenty five simoleons so it's energy five and the very expensive bed is energy eight so that's good honestly it's better than the past few beds we've been getting it's pretty cute love it i don't know i probably use this one more i don't really love that one i know i said i love it but sometimes that comes out and i don't mean it and then we have like a very beautiful toddler bed oh my gosh look at that oh my gosh I'm gonna tell you right now with rebirth I think when my Gragen ages up I'm gonna like if I can um I'm gonna like have my mint gen rebirth and I think she'll rebirth into my Gragen's family and I'm gonna give her this bed she probably won't be the heir but she's gonna have this bed Gragen is supposed to have like babies who colors are purple but we can do mint and purple we can make it work right oh this is so cute oh my gosh these are so cute with the owls I'm obsessed with these swatches oh i'm in love anyways we also have a crib which is also cute or a bassinet i guess we don't have a crib for an infant unfortunately i would have liked one but it is what it is it would have just been nice to have one 
that is like in this style and then we also have like this shelf with a quilt on it and this quilt has grim on it so that's cute and this is like all the swatches pretty nice very adorable and then over here we just have our dresser and i did slot some books to it and this journal oh it doesn't have a different swatch oh well this is a journal oh it does have a different swatch it has pink it has yellow it has like this brownish color blue and red for some reason i can't select the swatch okay that's weird that's annoying and then we have like this bookshelf which is also very cute it's not really books i would say it's more of binders which i actually love like that would be good for your workspace i guess and then we have this beautiful little mirror very nice and we have our grandfather clock and this one is so much better than the base game one like oh my gosh look at that like the glass on it looks so weird it's so beautiful like that's the clock i want it costs 1700 simoleons so not too bad the base game one is 2400 oh and also you can sleep in this coffin and you can also woohoo in the coffin if you have this pack as normal sims because if you have vampires usually a vampire would have to initiate it or initiate the woohoo but yeah it comes in beautiful colors like green so i think i showed off everything over here did i show off the ottoman i'm not sure but there's an ottoman it's very beautiful but i'm gonna take you outside for a second so we have two sets of swings so one is very wooden and we also have these monkey bars which also match these swings and i don't know it's very cute i love it and then we have some benches and oh my gosh they have llamas on them i didn't even notice that like the llama they have wings as well that's cute nice detailing and then over here we have the memorial display and they did give you a version that already has like everything on it obviously you could take it off but if you don't want to decorate it yourself you could just grab this one and then change the swatches if you want i guess that's a choice they also did the same with the indoor one and then over here we have our grave site so we have one with plain grass and different wooden swatches we have one with just dirt with a little bit of grass we have this one with flowers we have this one that is just like sand and we have like this grassy dirt version and then we also have this stone version which is also very cute and then this is all of the graves that we have they do come in different colors some are very dirty but yeah they're cute this one is a crow like they're very fancy i'm glad to have like new stuff that is always nice to have like new graves so they don't look all the same because you know that's very just unrealistic and then over here we have our coffin oh i've been calling it a co okay so i've been calling these coffins but like coffin casket what's the difference anyways we have a casket like when i was calling it a coffin in my head i was like i'm pretty sure there's a different name for this right it's casket anyways here are the swatches Ooh, nice i love the gold it's very cute and then this is the thing i showed you inside where you can just put that on there so it has a little bit of height to it during your funeral and if we go to build mode i'm pretty sure you can like yeah so if you go to live mode you can choose to place a drape or a flower oh she does not like the decorations but here's the flowers i think that's very beautiful and this is the drape okay and and over here we have some signs and we have these string lights so we have like a picture of the moon all this cute stuff Ooh, the ghosts they look very good i love this this is cute but i'm more excited about the string lights i will say again i'm pretty sure they're supposed to be circles but they look horrible they're horrible circles i feel like it's supposed to be circles and i just don't think it looks that good and then of course we have the pole that goes with it and then over here we have all of our beach towels and then over here we have our three cribs and then over here we have our memorial cannon and they only come in these four swatches and then over here we can see the roof so we have this same roof that comes in a bunch of swatches it's pretty cute and as you can see you can put like the holes in the roof as well that is very lovely and there's a black so i think this is a cute roof and we also have like a greenhouse roof as well that is more rustic and dirty 
dirty whereas the rest of them that we have are very clean so it's good to have like a rust version as well and these are things you can just put on the roof i don't usually use these ever but here's a look at them i guess they're also very rusty so i guess that's nice and then we have this beautiful chimney and then we also have this piece as well which is also very cute i don't usually use this stuff to be honest with you i feel like i just don't know how and if i tried it would probably look weird and then over here we just have these staircases and these railings so we got a stone railing and we also got a rustic railing so here are the swatches of the railings they should match the fence at least i would hope so but yeah there's also like the dirty versions as well and then this is the swatches of the rustic version pretty nice honestly i think it's great especially for a home that is like very old and abandoned maybe i really love how it just has that very old rustic look and then this is the swatches of the stairs so yeah we have plenty of nice colors of these we have a white beige another beige so that is good and then going over here we have our windows so these are the medium wall height windows we don't have any tall wall height windows but these are so cute so this is the greenhouse one it is cute i do kind of wish there was a clean swatch i think it's good when they do both so that way maybe if you start off rusty and old you can maybe renovate it to be new that's just my opinion i just i want both like it's always good to have both especially for storytelling purposes that's all but yeah those are the swatches i love how these windows well okay here's the thing with this i'm already seeing an issue so there seems to be like a clean white swatch or at least cleaner than the rest but i don't think there's a dirty white swatch which I don't know it's just I just feel like if you're gonna do a rusty swatch and a clean swatch they should have both sets and then this window sticks out which I think is so cute I love that and honestly I really wish they would like put snapping points here because that way on the inside of a building you can have like decoration here I think that would look very cute but yeah of course we have our dirty swatch and then our clean swatch and then we already seen the colors of this one and unfortunately there's no matching door to the greenhouse so yeah but yeah these are all the windows they should have matching swatches and then this is a very small window so i just tiled them together here so you can like nicely stack them these versions have broken glass i think that's cool and then these are the doors so we have one tall height one we have two medium wall height ones and then these are the short wall versions so these are also cute we have a more dusty swatch but also a clean swatch that's nice this is a good fancy door i also love that they gave us a version that doesn't have this part so they should have matching colors have a rusty door and then we have these doors Ooh, a rustic version nice and then here are a look at the fences so this one has a matching gate so there are 10 swatches here and then we have this fence over here which looks like hay is hanging over it so honestly maybe this would be good for horse ranch as well if you wanted to build over there this fence would be good it's very low but it would be good okay and then we have this stone fence and then we have this bigger fence which also comes with a gate very beautiful is very cute and then they also gave us two columns and they gave us one spandrel so here's the rustic column pretty simple and then we have like our stone spandrel so i think that's nice and last but not least this part is going to be a little glitchy because i have so many wallpapers on so you can kind of already see what's happening like why is it doing that i don't know but we have this cool stone corner accent wallpaper so it's really nice it comes in some pretty good colors with this wallpaper in particular the corner piece will stay and like not just be oh oh well that's weird anyways as i was trying to say like usually with the base game wallpaper that have like these corner pieces they don't show show up if there's like another wall right here it has to be like two tiles away for it to show up is what i was trying to say it's not happening right here but obviously i guess they're trying to get better and fix the issue well i don't know about fix the issue but it kind of seems like they did it differently with this wallpaper except this is a problem so that's a little confusing they have these swatches as well so i put all the swatches on the wall so we have this beautiful concrete layer but 
I'm gonna say now I'll probably use this as like a siding just like a siding like a panel because I don't know it's very cute it comes in like some very cute yellows orange purple orange is not even my favorite color but I will say this is a nice swatch so that is very nice then we have this nasty concrete wallpaper that is disgusting at the bottom and then it has like a matching clean swatch which I assume you would only use at like maybe the second story because the bottoms don't really match up if you do it differently and then we have this beautiful wallpaper it has like skulls at the top that's cute as well oh my gosh and I didn't get to show you all of this wallpaper so here are the swatches of these I think it's very gorgeous I will say it is a lot and I don't know it's just it's a lot I will say like I kind of wish there was like just the plain color of this with this bottom but then you have this that matches as well so maybe it's fine but I was kind of hoping for just plain like a plain color instead of this fancy stuff it's nice I mean this one will probably help break it up more so that is good and then we have this cute wallpaper this will be very cute and perfect for kid rooms and as you can tell each swatch is a little different so this one has like the crows and the skulls so that is very nice this one has like the moon and the crows like it's just so beautiful it's is so it's stunning honestly and then i think these are supposed to be butterflies they could be butterflies they could be moths who knows i don't know but they're cute okay and then we have like this one flooring texture this flooring has 14 swatches i think it's a very cute flooring and it is four simoleons so it's just like the rest of the floorings that we have so it's not that expensive but yeah that is the full video i'm gonna point out some of the objects that i just love um so one is these couches this couch is so cute i also love this ottoman it's just so simple i also love this table i love these two things and i love this little mushroom it's so cute like this i could see myself putting this in like a fairies build can they just give us fairies already i'm sorry i'm sorry i just want them i feel like they're the only occult that i would like to play with i say that but i would love to play with mermaids but they suck they don't have a skill tree and i guess ghosts are also good like like ghosts will probably also be my favorite probably and I also love these tarot card paintings I'm in love with the bathroom set I'm in love with these beds or maybe this bed and this toddler bed and honestly this desk and the chair I love these bar stools are so cute and pretty much I love the kitchen I love everything about the kitchen oh I guess I could say I'm also in love with this wallpaper specifically the moon and the crows and in live mode you can change this back and forth to like you know stone or just dirt or grass i guess but if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe i love you you are important and i will see you guys tomorrow bye